Hello everyone, it's um, Convex Studios here and I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to make brushes and export them into ABR files. So first thing you want to do is to make a new document. I recommend 1000 by 1000 resolution. Uh, double click on the background layer just to unlock it and command shift N or control shift N on a PC and if you don't want to make the uh, brush with a or with a default brush or whatever um, and you can I'll just use an example by going on the internet and see floral vector pattern. I'll search that right. And there's a bunch of different designs. Let's see. I'll use, I'll use this one. So I'll copy that image and paste that into Photoshop. It's a little big, so I'll just downsize it by holding Alt Shift and clicking on a corner. So maybe a little bigger. All right, so I have my uh, background or whatever, whatever it is that you are wanting to make into a brush and I'll press L to bring up the uh, polygonal lasso tool it might already be on the lasso tool so just hold it down and click on the polygonal lasso, lasso tool so I'll just uh, since these are all all the same floral pattern things uh, I'll just uh, crop out this one right here, the one that I just highlighted. Um, so I'm just going to keep clicking around the edges, make sure I don't get anything else. Um, sorry, I'm just concentrating. I'll skip this leaf. Oh, and then once I have it uh, highlighted, I just press Shift Control. I to inverse the selection and I press delete. Um, so after I have that, I might have a little bit more. I'll press M to bring up the rectangular, rectangular marquee tool. I can't talk about it. So I'll just hi highlight over that. Press delete. Command D to deselect. And so I have this. And it's always easier if the image is black and white, so we can do just press. Sorry, I just had to pause it right there. Um, where was I? Crap. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so you grab the magic wand tool, and you click in the black, and then it should automatically select it for you, and you just press delete. And then command D to deselect the selection. And then if there's any extra, you just click delete and so you might have this it's either black or white um, for me it's white so I'm just gonna color overlay 100% black cut edge right here then rasterize it and then command T on the background layer and drag our guides and the guides to access them is command R to bring up the ruler and you drag down, just click in it, drag down wherever you want. And so I'm gonna command T, the floral pattern, and just center it. So then we have this right here. So what we're gonna do is press edit, define brush 
preset, name it Floral Rush. So once we have that, um, I think it's, it is right here. So we have it right here. We can delete that. So we have the pattern, we can put it wherever we want, right? You have it. So then let's say you want to export it. Let's say you want to share it with a friend. You want to send it over a file, but you don't know how to. It's only on your brush uh, presets over here. So what you do is you go to edit, preset, preset manager, and that brings up this whole menu. And this also helps if you want to delete brushes of two. So let's say I want to delete uh, these four right here. You just command or control and you click on all of them and you press delete and it's gone. So that is helpful if you have like a whole bunch. That's what I had and I just deleted all the ones I didn't use. So we have a brush pattern right here if you could see it. 634, the very end. I want to send it to my friend. So what I do is I press save set. Um, I'll save it to somewhere convenient, like uh, my desktop. So I'm just going to name it as Floral Brush. Save that. And then if I press done, hide this, hide this, hide that, X, X, X. It's right here, right? You can see it. You can send it. And if you want to open it in Photoshop, double click it, and it will be right there. So I hope you guys enjoyed that short little tutorial. Maybe some of you know how to do this, some of you don't. It's just a little helpful tutorial that I'd like to share that I figured out not too long ago. And here's just one more tip. Uh, I saw Wiz use this, uh, and my friend taught me how to do it. Let's say you have a brush, right? You want it to uh, be slanted or like uh, moved in a different angle. You can do it by clicking on, right, where do you click? Damn it. Oh, right here. So if you have it clicked on, you can click on this thing. It'll move it in different, different ways and you could uh, flatten it, you can do lots of stuff. But let's say uh, that's just too much work. Um, <laughs> you can press R and that means you can rotate this. And let's say you wanna put the brush down right here. But you're worried that when you try to make it flat again, you won't. it'll take some time. Uh, you can just click. B. The brush always stays the same exact uh, size, or uh, not the size, the angle. The only thing that changes is the canvas angle. So if you have it at this and you don't know how to get it back and you're trying to get the perfect, perfect uh, angle, rotation angle, then you can just press shift, same right here, 45. 90, whatever, I don't care. And you just, can just press B. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Simple tutorial. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Convex Studios. And one more thing. Uh, I'm coming up really close on 500 subs, and I really want to get this contest out. If you can... Uh, share my channel with your friend that'd be great uh it'd be lots of help and i've been growing subs really fast now and i just want to thank you guys for the support so yeah it's been convex studios peace